thank you once again for joining us today at Matoka TV studio. All right, today the God servant Apostle Alome Osai unveils a shocking secret on prayer to the body of Christ. I'm due to listen to this particular clip from the beginning to the end. One, your prayer life will never remain the same. All right, um, over to you, sir. Ye shall receive power. Give me Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Let us shake that scripture for a moment. The purpose of shaking the scripture is so that we can study what I call the conversion factor. How do you convert the anointing of the Holy Ghost that is upon your life to power? Because when Jesus was baptized at the riverside of John's baptism in Jordan, the moment he came out of the water, accreditation took place. The father spoke and said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That sounds like A. You know, when we, in the educational sector, we assign alphabets to connote performance. Are you there? So what is A? I'm not hearing you. And what's the bracket in terms of numbers? You see, we attended different kinds of schools. Some, <laughs> obviously, I can, I can see that now. Some are saying 70, some are saying 90. It depends on the school you went to. But those days when I was in the oil industry, pass mark was 70. That is not A, C was 70. Hallelujah. So you already know whether you can be promoted or you will just remain on that level and you'll be thanking God for where you are. That sounded like an A. This is my beloved son. I'm recommending him. And what the father was saying was that when we conceived the idea, the policy of man, we conceived that the project man, this was what we had in mind. So Jesus was accredited. Jesus had an A. And it happens to be that, you know, when you score a distinction in your course in the university, you are likely to be given employment. But in the kingdom of God, when you, you become excellent, what God does is that uh, he sends you to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Have you read the book of Malachi chapter 3 when the Bible says, And they that feared the Lord spake one unto another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and the book of remembrance was written, To them that feared the Lord and thought upon his name. They shall be mine, saith God, in the days when I make them my precious jewels. How are jewels made? They are subjected to high temperature and pressure. So when God sees that you are enterprising, God sees that you are oh my on fire. God sees that, my God, this beautiful lady loves me with passion. Mm. He will look for a wilderness to put you. Are you still with me? You know, our estimation of whether God is with a man is if he has a car, a Range Rover. You, went, you got that philosophy in Babylon. That, that's not kingdom thinking. Your relevance is not a function of how much money is in your bank account. It might be the shape of your God. That money in your bank account might be the shape of your God. It might be the reason why you were obstructed from pressing into God because you found security in what was in your bank. You know I said you will not say amen. I'm sure of that. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Yes, but ye shall receive power. There are four Greek words for power, and I know you know that. This is a word, church, a place where the word of God is supreme. And the authority of the word of God is emphasized. So you shall receive power. Four words, Greek words for power. Greek has more depth than English language. Just like English language has more depth than Igbo language. 
English language has more depth than Yoruba language. English language has more depth than Hausa language. I know somebody is offended. I don't have time to do linguistic analysis. I've done all of that so that I can understand Greek and Hebrew, which is the original writing in which the scriptures were written. And God preserved his truth in that language, not in English language. In fact, in fact, when translation took, took place, a lot of rich meanings were lost because uh, English vis-a-vis -vis those languages is like a funnel. You know, a funnel has a big opening, then it has a slim. You understand what I'm talking about? So many times, in order for us to enter into the original meaning and economy of scriptures, we will need to launch a linguistic investigation. I know you know that the Greek word for power in this scripture is dunamis. But what's the meaning of dunamis? Sorry, those days I had an encounter with Jesus and uh, he taught me how to move from the office of a teacher to the office of a prophet. So this is how I introduce a minstrel. If I don't introduce him, I'll be a teacher throughout. So he has to start his own ministry to help me to climb. Because what I'm doing now is theory. Then in 15 minutes, we'll do practicals. I want to show you power. I want to show you authority. Jesus gave me the clearance while I was praying there. So... May it be known that the reason why I'm doing, going to do the practical is not to show you how great a preacher I am. I'm trying to illustrate kingdom things using the utensils we have been teaching about. Are we there? All right, all right, all right. Okay, so the word power in that scripture is dunamis. Dunamis has two meanings. The first meaning of dunamis is inherent ability. Inherent ability. General, where's your phone? What kind of phone are you using? Let me see it. Ah, Apple. I don't know Apple. They bought one Apple for me. I tried to navigate. I threw it away. The, it's Samsung, you know. I know how to go around with Samsung. So I don't know. People with Apple, I'm wondering. But, uh, hallelujah. Do you see? Let me see your phone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one I know, please. Huh? Now, this, please sit down. Please sit down. Thank you so much. i so blessed with your ministry. And I was hoping to meet you, and Pastor Ben has made the connections. <laughs> thank you, Pastor Ben, and thank you, GUC. Okay. This is a Samsung phone. The operating system for Sam Samsung is Android. And the applications that can run on this operating system can be found in Google Store. So you go to Google Store, then you look for the application that you want. The last application that I wanted was an application that could read my notes as voice. Because I was in a theological program, and they had, the readings were so massive, and I, I was in active ministry. So I needed to look for a way whereby my notes could be read to me so that I can do 21 pages in a short Possible. And it's, it's so smart that if you like something in the reading, you can, you can crop it and push it to the Microsoft Word component of the software. So you go to Google Store and you find what you are looking for. And you click upon it and they will say, do you agree to the terms and conditions? And we normally don't read the terms and conditions. We just <laughs> click. So we thank God that that's not how we receive the mark of the beast. If not, all of us would have received it. Then it begins to download. It begins to download 20%, 5%, 20, 
40%, 80%, then 100%. The moment you have 100% download, it's now inherent with your phone. And if you want to use it, you don't need to go to Google to ask for permission. Because the responsibility of usage is now yours. That's how it is when you receive the Holy Ghost. The software is downloaded into your spirit. And according to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul says that I will pray in the spirit. Will. I will pray in my understanding also. It's because the ability to exercise yourself in the Holy Ghost is the only gift. That's the only gift that the Holy Spirit gives that you can operate at will. Why can you operate it at will? It is inherent. Did you get that? It means that God transferred the responsibility of the usage of your capacity to pray in the Spirit. He transferred that responsibility to you. So you decide how you use that investment. If you use it for 30 minutes a day, what will happen to you is that God will give you a supernatural civilization that is consistent with your 30 minutes usage. That's the extent to which you will experience the supernatural. Because the Bible says, if you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. And many of you that are seated here today, there, there's darkness in your family. And you want to avoid that. But you see, unfortunately, faith does not deny mountains. The reason why your faith has not been able to do anything about the darkness in your family is because there is no equilibrium. Your investment is not, is not anywhere near the investment of people that are standing for darkness. Their sacrifice level is intense. And all you bring to the table is 30 minutes of exercising your spirit in the Holy Ghost. God is merciful. He will give you a civilization that is consistent with your investment. On the other hand, somebody might say, okay, I, I will go three hours every day. And it's as important as my bank check. I will go three hours. Then God gives you a civilization in the supernatural that is consistent with your investment. So please help me turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are exactly the way you intended to be. <laughs> <laughs> if you notice that you are prayerless and you are crippled in the spirit, that was a vision you had and that was what you were willing to pay for. I looked at the parking lot when we were driving in. Saw Range Rover. Mercedes Benz of all kinds. Um, Lexus. And there were other smaller vehicles. The people that have the smaller vehicles know where they sell the big ones. But... Hallelujah. That's what they could pay for. And that's why they are using the smaller vehicles. That is the same way it is in the spirit. You could pay for the 30 minutes civilization. That's why you are like that. That's not the best that God can do. But that's what you are willing to afford, given your busy schedule. You have other things more important than building your spiritual capacity. So, your car is B2. Your spiritual car is B2. The, the, I'm talking about the 1979 model. And many of you are the 1979 models of yourselves. All right. Uh, thank you once again for your time in this particular clip. And I hope um, you are really blessed. All right. Um, if it happens today, is your first day of coming across our channel, I do us a favor to hit that subscription button and subscribe and turn on your notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload at Matoka TV Studio. All right, thank you so much and stay tuned. May God Almighty bless and keep you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Bye.